Okay, here we are at NAMM 2014. We're at Ocean Audio. We're standing here with Seth. We're going to talk about a couple consoles uh, they've got uh, here um, out of England. Uh, the one we're standing in front of is the ARC 516. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about it and what's unique? Sure. So this is the ARC 516. It is the first console designed that's being produced that is designed around the 500 series format. So what it is, it, the concept behind it is, it's as transparent as, as it could be designed. So the actual console itself tries to import as little color as possible. The color itself comes from whatever modules you like to put into it. So if you want a Neve style console, you could fill it with Neve uh, modules. If you want an API console, you could fill it with API modules. If you want some type of weird combination, you could fill it with anything you want. The reason it's a great console for a lot of people is because it's such an elastic console. If you want something that's designed a little bit more towards tracking, you could fill it with all with preamps and with EQs, and you can actually route you know, whatever preamps you want to any channels so that you have a tracking console. If you want a mixing console, you can actually, instead of using preamps and EQs, you can put in EQs and compressors, and then you have, to be, you have the ability to be able to track sorry, mix any channel you want through any other module. Because uh, in actuality, they're not actually internally wired to any channels. It's all done through patching. Yeah, so I was going to say, where is it routed through these buttons here, or? No, everything is actually done through patch bays. OK, so, underneath. Correct, okay. It, on, a, on a side, underneath, however you want it to go. So it, you could, if you want to, normal it, and it'll work like a conventional console where it starts at the top and works its way down, or you can just do it all through patch bay where you know you could patch you know the first chan you know the first slot to the fifth sh slot going to the first channel, or you know the the you know the first ten slots of a, a weird combination of EQs into the second channel. It, it works in every any which way you want it to work. Excellent. Okay, so uh, there's also a smaller brother or sister, uh, which is the 504. So why don't we get some, uh, what, what is uh, pricing on the 516 and the 504? Sure. Um, they are, the 516 is 19,800 and the 504 is 12,000. Okay, now the 504, even though it's a four, it is actually an eight channel strip. Correct, it is actually the exact same monitoring section as the 516, but it's four channels of input. Um, both of them are, are made in England. They're all made by Malcolm Toft, and you know it's all through hole construction. They're all using uh, you know are high quality parts. Built to order? Yes. They are built well, to order. Well, they're 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 built to order, but they're in at least you know in a couple of countries there is one with a distributor in stock, so that if somebody wanted one, they could have one fairly quickly. Okay. So and these are shipping. Correct. Okay. Yes. Well, that sounds great. So all you guys out there are using all your 500 series modules. You can plug them into this board, configure it any way that you want to, and have a go at your recording, tracking, uh, mixing session. Anyway, this is uh, NAM 2014. We're at Ocean Audio. We'll talk at you soon. Thank you.